In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make a new composition. We're going to name this bumper. Make sure it's 1080p, frame rate 60. Okay, so once you've got that done, we're going to go ahead and import our logo. We're going to right click on the project bin, import file. Navigate to your logo and put it in. Once you have your logo in the composition, go ahead, right click, pre-compose, call this logo, move all attributes to the new composition. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is import a background image. Right click import, navigate to your file and select it. We're gonna go ahead and drag that to the composition, scale it up as needed, and leave it there. Okay, let's go ahead and set up our wipe. We're gonna create a new adjustment layer and add the effect linear wipe. Change the wipe angle to negative 35 degrees. Drop a keyframe at the very beginning for transition completion and change it to 100. Move forward about 50 frames and drop another keyframe, this time making it 0%. Verify the playback. For your beginning keyframe, use an easy ease out. For your ending frame, use ease in. Now let's have some fun. Go ahead and create a new white solid and call this fractal noise. Bring this just above the logo layer. Add the effect fractal noise. Change it from basic to swirly. Keyframe the evolution using alt click. Type out the expression time times 150. Verify that it worked. Change the contrast to 180. And at the one second mark, keyframe the brightness to negative 200. Move forward about two seconds and keyframe the brightness for 150. Play this back verify that it worked and we can go ahead and bump up the scale under transform to about 125 that looks good let's change the logo to luma matte fractal noise and you can see how it's going to appear on at this point let's go ahead and scale up our logo and let's add the effect camera lens blur okay we're going to drop a keyframe for blur radius and line it up with the brightness keyframe from the fractal noise. Change the first keyframe to blur radius 25. Move forward exactly one second and drop a keyframe, changing the blur radius to zero. At this point, you may want to change your render quality to half. Select both keyframes and easy ease in. With the logo layer selected, now add the liquify effect. This fun effect allows you to warp the layer that you have selected. Select the Warp tool and paint up and down to create distortion on screen. With it properly distorted, now we're going to keyframe the percentage. Select the distortion percentage keyframe at the same position of the other keyframes. Then go forward to your blur radius keyframe and change the distortion percentage to zero. Also easy ease that keyframe as well. After playing this back, I've decided to increase the duration of this. Move the keyframes forward slightly. Now at this point, most of the work is done. Let's go ahead and create a new null layer, drag it to the bottom, and parent your background to the null layer. Set a keyframe at the very beginning of the composition for scale. Go forward about 7 seconds and drop another keyframe, increasing it to about 125. This should create some nice background parallax. Create another null, put it underneath the adjustment layer. Select both the fractal noise and the logo layer, parent them to the null, and do a similar scale effect. Seven seconds, this time for 150%. With both keyframes in place, you should have some nice motion. Next, select your background layer and add a fast box blur. Change the blur radius to about 10 and repeat the edge pixels. You may want to change the blur radius depending on which image you choose. Next, create a new adjustment layer and add the curves effect. Make sure this is underneath your wipe effect. Change the curves effect to create a bit more contrast. And finally, reselect your initial wipe layer, copy the keyframes, 
move to about the five second mark, paste the keyframes. Select them again, right click keyframe assistant, time reverse. This should create a wipeout. Also, under the linear wipe options, change the wipe angle by keyframing it, moving forward one frame, using page down, and changing the wipe angle to 150. With all of this in place, your bumper should animate in, and then after five seconds, begin to animate out. And lastly, let's create a vignette. I'm using the Dojo Toolkit to speed things up. Drag the vignette right above your adjustment layer and change the radius to about 1100 or 1200. Lastly, take your work area end and put it exactly at the end of the wipe. For mine, this is at about the five minute and 50 second mark. Watch the playback a couple of times through to make sure that it looks like it should. Now we're ready to render. By compressing Control M, the render page will show up. Under Output Module, select Lossless with Alpha. Click Lossless with the Alpha and change the format to QuickTime. Select the Output Module to determine where you are outputting to and hit Render. Do not be alarmed with the render times. Camera lens blur is extremely CPU intensive. And with that, it should be wrapped up. If you followed all the steps correctly, you should be able to put this on top of other footage as the alpha channel is included as well. This makes for a fun transition effect between two clips. Thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for more tutorials coming from my channel.